Right. Okay. Hello. Hello, hello. <clears throat> hello, hello. Right. Um. I yeah, literally just put this on, and I can't even remember what I put on. What's it called? Lords of the Fallen. Yes. Right. Okay. So this is yeah. I can't click on anything other than right. So I've got to scroll down. We have heard about these these things where they force you to read stuff, but you can skip it. So technically, you don't have to read it, and then you find in the small details. Uh, I think there was one years ago where you could win ten grand or something if you rung a number. And nobody ever did because nobody ever fucking reads them. Look that up. I'm pretty sure that's that's what happened. Accept. I am clicking accept, but I'm not clicking it with a specific button by the looks of it. Is it? Why am I not? What the hell? Oh. <clears throat> oh, I can see now. All this bullshit is like a game in itself. I've got to work out the mechanics of uh, accepting a privacy policy or something. Fuck me. Okay. On with the drums. After eons of tyranny, the demon god Adir was finally overthrown by humanity. Though fear of his terrible power endured. And so was formed the hallowed sentinels. Our duty being to stand vigil for signs of his return. Even exile to another realm could not silence the fallen god forever. And in time, Adir's malignant influence pervaded the world once more. In his hunger for vengeance, Adir orchestrated the return of his demonic army. Light was swallowed by shadow, and with it, hope. A new, grim champion arises, the Dark Crusader. And perhaps it will indeed come to pass that only they who shun the light in order to fight the darkness possess the power to defy a god. Slow-mo! Lord of the Rings. Oh. Oops. He's covered in moths. Okay, so did they travel to like a nether world or something then? <clears throat> Press any button to continue. So it kind of looks very Lord of the Rings meets Dark Souls. Brightness. So just the brightness until the icon is barely visible. What icon? I can't see any icon. So if we...
What icon are you talking about? Oh, that one! I have to turn it right down before I can see the thing. So if I go back there, that's about right. That'll do. Confirm. 3D photos? Well, as in actual... Oh, I'll assume that that means I can kind of go in-game, move the camera around 3D as opposed to... Ah, uh, in my face, 3D. Let's make sure we've got... Motion blur, film grain, chromatic... Oh, f fuck off. What I need... Subtitles. <clears throat> yep, subtitles are on. Subtitle size medium. A, a multiplayer. So is does that mean you can you could get people to jump in and give you a hand, or does it mean that you're gonna be battling against people? Uh yeah, we'll just leave everything as it is. New game, here we go. Eyes down looking. Oh, have I got to read this now? Is there no nar narrator? Ages passed, distorting self-delusion into faith with few obtaining the revelations they so desperately seek. In a conflict between the divine trying to drink my coffee, are mortals mere pawns? Whether the flesh of gods or death itself, all will be consumed. All right, then. For she must be obeyed. Feed. Okay, yeah, same thing. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Come on. That was a weird shuffle. Forgive me. I'd steer this weapon of deliverance to a worthier servant than I. Okay. Is it them again? The metal for this crusader. You failed. Right, okay. Well, that was quite a short game. So you want me to pick a character now? <clears throat> Even though I'm dead. Hallowed Knight. Strength, agility, endurance, vitality, radiance. Look at my glow. Um, Inferno. Whatever that is. Adderunger Ad War Warwolf. How do, how, do you, how do you pronounce that? You Duranger. Warwolf, okay. Partisan. Mornstead Infantry. <coughs> Red shirts. Black Feather Ranger. Very bloodborne there. Um, exiled Stalker. Right. Quick with the blades. Right. 
Orion Preacher. Not much strength, but Radiance. Ah, there's Gandalf. Look at him. Um, Pyric Cultist. <clears throat> and... Ah, Inferno must be the, the flamey thing. The Condemned. Nine in everything. Yes, this... Um, This happened to me in uh, Elden Ring. I went, I scrolled through the characters, and there was a character that had basically nothing on apart from underwear and a wooden club. And I chose that, thinking I could then choose the the traits for it. And I ended up not being able to do so, that. So I ended up. Um, with like a really shit character that I had to build up from scratch and part of me is thinking that this might be what I should do to complete because what I did was I kind of I played Elden Ring before I played any of the Dark Souls games I played Elden Ring first then I went on to Dark Souls I just kept doing that. I kept choosing the character that you start with, like, literally hardly anything. It was one of the hardest characters to build up, but they had an equal number in each of them. So, not, um, not entirely different. But these... <clears throat> these don't add up, see? If you had nine in all of them, you'd have less stats. So obviously you're making it harder for yourself. So what I'll do, instead of going with this, it says pick at your own risk, which means you're going to have a hard time. For the sake of... What should we do? Let's just go with just just go with the the character Hallowed Knight. Let's do that. Oh no, body type B. Is it going to have boobies? Body type A. Body type B. Right. So body type B is a bit of a fatty bombati. So if I'll have the Body type A. Now this takes me back to the days of Quake 2, whereby a lot of players chose the female characters because their hitboxes were more condensed rather than the big chunky blokes with the muscles. Easier to hit when you played online. Allegedly, I was easier to hit regardless. Right, class selection. Then I've got to choose head. Oh! This will be the body type then. Body. Thin, large, muscular. Let's have a look at. We do large. Jesus. Okay. Muscular. And if we choose thin. Skeleton like. Okay, so if we. How do we go back to normal? Just return. Body, no. I can't reset it. How do I reset it? Uh, let's go back, let's go back. Reset customization. Yes, we'll do that, shall we? Hallowed Knight body type B. Um, don't care about any of this. Hang on. <clears throat> so my body type B. <coughs> a bit of a bit of a thing in my throat. 
Body type B doesn't mean female. Oh, hang on, body type A. Let's go back. That's more of a female one. Uh, I'm just for the sake of looking, let's press X for random. Oh, hello. I said that's actually quite cool. Um, cool looking as it happens. Skin color, hair. What we'll do though, with regards to the color, we'll give them red hair. Now the thing is, this is what I wanted to avoid. I wanted to avoid the whole character creation thing because I just wanted to get in and bloody play. So that's what I'll do. I'll get in and I'll bloody play. Change name. Character name. So my character's name is character name. Alright, uh, I don't care. Just get in. Play. Oh, you got to hold it down. Jesus. Right, okay. Do like the, I do like the, uh, the, the music, the choral. I do like that. Play. Hurrah! Fucking hell! About time. Ah, moths. Silence of the lambs. Badum, 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 badum. Law, the latest receiver of his grace. Great potential dwells within you, doubtless, for you to be chosen thusly. And so does Aureus' wisdom guide my hand in the bestowment of this subsequent boon. Your flesh has been made sacrosanct with the mark of the Dark Crusaders. Prove yourself worthy of this gift. Seek me in the bowels of the bridge. Ugh. Our work is of the greatest import. Was that an oldie times version of the word importance? Import. We just. I don't want to skip anything because I want to see what's going on. Right. Oh, hang on. I've got to do this. Uh, controls, invert Y axis. Or is that in gameplay? Invert vertical. Yep, that's it. Thank you. Confirm Y. Yep. Defile sepulture. Left stick to move, right stick to look around. The basics. Okay. Now then, what I will do if I put the thing there, then it shouldn't cover up anything that anybody needs to see for whatever reason. Right button for quick attack. Hold right trigger for heavy attack. Okay. So obviously we need to break shit up. Oh, look out. This is an enemy. This is the tutorial section, I'm assuming, then. And we... 
have that. Okay. Right. Just because I'm a little bit weirded out by it. Where is it? So the display screen calibration, that's it, brightness. We'll do that as 50. Confirm, return. Is that a bit better? Doesn't kind of look better, does it? If I put it, if I put it back up. Calibration, brightness. If we put it all the way up to 100 just to see if it makes a difference because then otherwise that seems a lot better, doesn't it? Wait till we get outdoors and it might be blinding, but until then. What's this? Pick up. I always go back to where you start in case there's something there. Um, I'm not caring if it spoils the cinematics or it spoils the atmosphere at the moment by making it bright. I want to be able to see what's going on. Yep, yep. Right button, quick attack, hard attack, long attack. Powerful attack, whichever one is the trigger. I get it. All right. I fucking know. I fucking know. Lock target, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I think I've already done that. Just like muscle memory from playing other games that have similar mechanics and styles and etc. So if we... Okay. Both of them are coming towards me now. So locking target isn't really going to help me much. Although saying that... It does automatically lock onto the other one once one is defeated. Good to know. What does pressing up on that mean? What does that do? So if I press that, I'm moving the hand, moving the... Ah, right. I'm... Left trigger does this. Oh, is that why the brightness is... Right, so this is a weapon. It doesn't seem to be draining anything, so I can use it also as a torch. Is that correct? Nothing seems to be going down. Nothing I'm noticing anyway. So, <clears throat> I kind of get the... Um, why it was so dark. Because you're gonna, they're gonna want you to use this to hide. Right? Okay. All right. So, sprinting. Well, that wasn't very. Well, that wasn't very good, was it? Give me a sec. <coughs> was I supposed to fail? Is that why there's an object directly underneath me? Um. Okay, visually it looks really nice actually. It's weird though because it's it's got this thing where it shows you it's almost as if you're in a different realm when you do it. Because I don't know if you can see by here, you've got these two pillars that you're standing on. But when you use the torch, it brings up this like 
thorns. You know. Oh, shit. That must be uh, part of the weapons. Right. And leap! Fuck's sake! My legs are going to snap if I carry on. Is there a certain part that's that's got less of a chance of me falling? While sprinting, press A to jump. I will. Sprint. Yes! Fuck yeah. Made it. Dash and roll. When locked onto a target with right stick, use B to dash quickly around the enemy. Around the enemy. By double tapping B, you can roll out of danger. Right. Okay. All right. Chances of me actually... What the fuck? Okay, couldn't... Right, lock on the target, right stick, blah, blah, blah press B, roll the D, uh, double B, double tap, something, 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 something. Okay. Right. This might be now whereby if I put the brightness back down... Right, now they wanted me to put it so I couldn't see the symbol. So if I just do that, it's about there. Press Y to confirm, come back. Right, okay. Still a little bit too dark. Uh, open your inventory with It says, open your inventory with. With what? Okay, select the slot you want to modify with A and equip any available gear with A. All right, brilliant. Let's open my inventory with. With what? What's my inventory? Is it Y? No, that's two-handed. B is roll and duck and dodge or whatever they were calling it so if I bring up no that's that's uh, what you call it emoting I believe point forward yeah this is still too dark again set in screen calibration Bring it up to 50. Press Y. Okay. Collect. No, it's not saying what I can... Ah, oh, right, so you just press that. All right. Weapons. Press A. Or if I got to press grenade. Ah! Press. Oh! Okay. I fuck knows. I don't know what's going on yet. Oh, Jesus. Ranged combat mode and press L clip equip long range weapon or sorcery catalyst. All right, okay. All ranged attacks consume either ammunition or mana. Different ammunition types and spells have different costs. Of course, they do, like other games. Range combat, so I'm not reading all that. All right, so what we'll do is we'll have.
I have no idea what I did there. Right, press up to enter range mode. Keep left trigger press to use your equip range options. Right, and then press A. Oh, right trigger. Right, so I just threw three grenades, which just doesn't... Okay. Ah! Similar thing. So press... And... I don't have any more. Right button. I don't have anything, so I can't get that thing down. What's floating around? Right, what's this mean? What does this mean now? Right trigger. Okay, so I can't... I can't absorb anything. So if I press X, have I travelled to this other world now? Have I? Uh, is anything? All right. Emerge from Umbral. Okay, so I've obviously gone into Umbral. It's all that about. Right. But for some reason, I can't get that. Oh. Right, okay. So is it... Right, let's go back into here. Quick access items. So I've got some bryostone pair. Heals over time. All right, okay. I've only got two things there. Throwing hand. Equip throwable items in... I've got a throwing hand. Okay. Grenade. Throwing rock. So I'll do that instead. Right? So if I do that, I pull that. No. If I do that... And I do that... throw a rock and that falls down and I can collect it da, da, da. right what's that a wooden a wooden cross okay thank you very much right so what I'm assuming it's telling me to do now is in order to go past here which I can't I have to go into the umbral is that correct because of all the notifications I keep getting, why isn't why aren't I able to jump? I can only jump when I sprint. That's fucking annoying. Right. Um. It does look nice. It keeps coming up with those help things. When you get to a certain part of the map, it triggers the there like that, like that. It'll trigger the helpful guide, which I'm sure you could turn off because that's going to get really fucking annoying. Now, I can't go any further. So let's uh, press. Which one? All right, so I'm on the hand. Let's do that. So if I do this, and one of them means I can go into the umbral, but I can't remember which one it was. So you either X. No, or why? Vestige seeds can on, only be planted on umbral flower beds. Okay, thank you very much. So if I do this, that's more of an attack. And right button is... Doesn't seem to do anything. 
Okay. So, fuck's sake. Okay. Quick access items. Is there anything here now? Alright, so if I use one of these, heal over time. Alright, so I've got the Sanguinarix. What? What is the Sanguinarix? Let's press X. I'm assuming that was another form of Vestis, like flask or whatever they call them. Health. All right, so uh, that'll be the throwing rocks. Can you run out of throwing rocks? Let's have a look. Possibly. Um, I'm not getting. Come on. Ah. Oh. Oh, what a twat. Select your umbra lamp with down and raise it with left trigger to traverse paths only accessible in umbra. Right, done that. Oh, fucking hell, I thought I had... Right, okay. Hang on, now I'm lost. I can't remember where I was. I was in there. Oh no. Blah blah blah, blah blah blah, blah blah blah, blah blah blah. Look. Alright, listen, I'm a button masher. I have no actual skills. Alright, I'm gonna treat this like I played Street Fighter 2 back in the 80s or 90s or whenever it came out. Now then, moths indicate points of interest in umbral. Select your umbral lamp and raise it with L2 to peer into umbral. Okay. Oh, what the fuck? Ooh. An umbral entity prevents you. Wasn't on the screen. See, I've got this thing on the side that's on there for fucking ages. And then what I wanted to read went and disappeared before I could finish reading it. An umbral entity prevents your progress. I want to get back to where I was just now. It's like Jack from Lost. we got to go back! <laughs> right. So you can... Okay. Here we go. Are they... Are they trapped? No, I guess they're not. Have at you! <laughs> oh. Press white to switch between one-handed and two-handed stances, each with a unique full set of attacks. Melee stances can be switched dynamically between attacks to create unique combos. I'm never going to care. I, I'm never going to care with you and your fucking unique combos. That's where I was just now. Right. So if I hold this up, I can't go through there. But this was the correct path. Got you. Okay. Go through there. Press right trigger and left trigger simultaneously oh good grief okay 
Yeah, right. Okay, I think we've worked this out by accident. <clears throat> and I seem to be okay. Now it's doing that squiggly thing again. Meaning... Oh, I've done that. Yeah, I've done that. I've healed myself already. Bumbrel rifting. <coughs> Apologies for the cough. Select your umbral lamp. Raise it. Rift by holding X to transition to umbral. Beware, as you can only exit umbral at specific points. Okay. I think I've worked that one out by accident. Oh, shit balls. Right, so I'm in this water, which I can't move very quickly in. Here we go. Hold that. Press X. There's a gigantic hand. Oh, I could pick this up. So that... That pickup I could have in both worlds by the looks of it. Although one of them I couldn't get to, I'm assuming. Soul Flay Obstacles. Press blah blah blah. Lock onto them. Select your umbrella lamp. Raise it. With, uh, and soul flay the locked target with right trigger. Okay. Lock onto it. Raise my lamp and soul flay with right trigger. Okay. Righty ho, righty ho. No, I can't get back out of this world until I reach one of those specific spots. Ah. Soul flaying enemies. Blah, 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 blah. So I lock on and... Boom shakalaka. Oh. Hang on. Did I not do it long enough? Pick up A. Corrupted Pentient Bandages. Whatever they are. So your umbral lamp does nothing whilst you're in the umbral world. Okay. Well, apart from using it as a weapon. Oh my good grief! Right. Continue. <clears throat> Let's do this again. So I can't lock on to these things, but I can... Oh, right. Right button, not right trigger. My fault. So I can pop these kind of vessels, can I? Right, okay. So you can't lock onto them, but you can sort of just stand your shiner torch on them to highlight them. And press right button to pop. Pop, pop, pop. Once you pop, you cannot stop. Oh, another enemy, but we got a pop. Wither. Your health receives wither when entering umbral or performing certain actions with your umbral lamp. Withered health can be recovered by damaging em en en ba -ba 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 enemies. However, you will lose it all instantly if you are struck. I, yeah, I kind of get it. I th think I understand that what that meant. Yeah. 
withered health can be re hang on withered health can be recovered by damaging enemy en I can't speak today damaging enemies however you will lose it all instantly if you are struck that's what I that's what I read just now but I I'm not noticing what I'm supposed to have done anyway let's get more of this Oh, good grief. <clears throat> no, they were obviously too far away. So, let's try locking onto this one and... Hang on. So if we try and suck the soul out of them, oh shit, I've lost my, yeah, I can see now I've lost that energy. I lost the opportunity to get that energy because I got struck. Right. But what is this? You can lock on. Pick up a saintly quintessence. Something dangling out the way. Um, right button. Okay. Um. While falling, press right button or right to perform a plunge attack. Additionally, you can use lock on for extra accuracy. So there's something down here I need to kill then, is it? Huzzah! So we could have gone around. Oop, and I would have missed that. thing is it's higher when you get these <clears throat> should we say when you're sucking the balls it creates that little blue flame thing which is above the webcam but I don't really know what that does Oh, what's this now? Dread. Prolonged periods in Umbral makes your presence incredibly known to its inhabitants. The longer you spend in Umbral, the more dangerous the beings will hunt you. Okay, nice little mechanic there. However, I want to get out. So can you, can we do that? We can't, oh shit, balls. I didn't mean to do that. Oh fucking hell, what have I done? Mash, mash, roly poly, mash. Right. Just fucking run. Go away. What's this? A ladder. Climb up. Thank you. So I need to get out of this umbrella at some point. Is this where we get out of the umbrella? No, it's not. Right, so do that. No, that's not working. Okay, so not right button, right trigger. Ooh. I saw one of them earlier, but I didn't know what it meant. Ah, it is that one. I've unblocked the door that had that being on it. I'm above that. 
so I now need to oh, look out. That was weird. This is one of those things where you emerge from Umbral. Yeah, there we are. Lock on. Ooh. Left button and right button to simultaneously to kick. Oh, that wasn't very good. Oh, fucking hell, I'm getting twatted now. Shh. Why would I want to kick something? Why? Right. We haven't lost enough health to use one of those crux things. Oh, hang on. We've got a wither ward, whatever that is. But we'll use one of these stones to heal over time. Now, what's a wither ward? Let's... Nope, let's have a look. Equip. I've got grenades or throwing rocks. Right, here it is. A tin of powder providing increased defence against withering. Increase your inferno on radiance to gain further insight. Okay. Okay. Open door. I mean, technically, it's two doors. The abandoned red cops. Now then. Vestiges mark places where previous lamp bearers fell. Once activated, these serves as points of revival should you die in the umbral. So these are your bonfires. Uh, activated vestiges can be warped between and used to beckon other lamp bearers multiplayer. Activate vestige. Bum bum bum. Uh, so what I'll do now, just just put that up there for now so you can see that. Not that anybody watches my videos. And it says rest, upgrade character, multiplayer, echoes of battle and crucibles. Now I don't know what that means. It doesn't say echoes of battle. Relive battles against previously defeated bosses. Oh, okay, that's it. That's interesting. So you can replay bosses. Crucibles. Embark on a series of battles against defeated bosses without perishing. Fuck that. Uh, multiplayer. Beckon lamp bearer. Beckon friend. Accompany lamp bearer. Slaughter lamp bearer. I don't want to do that. Upgrade character. Now it's got a little flame next to it, so I'm assuming that means I can do something to upgrade. Player attributes level 10, vigor. Now what? If I just choose that. Ah, I can see it. So those little flames are like coins or currency and in other games that you can... So what's radiance what does that improve it improves the mana the physical defense right okay shit if i put this now on bottom who were it doesn't really not cover anything um So I'll just do radius. Oh no, what's the inf inferno? What's that? It seems to improve almost all of the same things on the right hand side. It improves the same stats, bleed and burn and what have you. So we'll bring inferno up to level oh agility. It seems to improve the same things. It's our oh, physical is plus four. 
Inferno doesn't do anything. Radiance doesn't do anything. Vitality. I'm looking in the centre column now. Endurance. Agility. It's got plus four. And strength. Plus four. So. I, I, as I'm not being shown. I mean it. I mean I'm better off getting. Ah strength. Physical goes from 12 to 15. <clears throat> Agility goes from 12 to 13. Endurance, 12 to 13. So if we do Inferno, 12 to 13, what goes? Oh, I see it now. Fire and Holy. Inferno increases them equally. Radiance increases them more holy than fire. And because I don't know what I'm talking about, I don't really care. I'll just put Inferno up to nine. Um, because I don't know what I'm doing. <clears throat> and don't care. There you go. Right. So. We'll press rest. Now. We're coming up to about an hour of this. And I've essentially just done the tutorial lesson so if I go back over there uh, am I liking this I am liking it I'm liking it a lot so far it's a little bit of a steepish learning curve but for me personally most of the stuff that you're learning I'm never gonna care about I'm not actually going to give a shit Oh, this is what I learned to block now, is it? And parry. Oh, I fucking hate this. Right. We'll give this a go. But this could be where I give up on the game. If I can't block and parry and... This is a boss, is it? Oh, shit. This is where I decide whether or not I bother playing a game. It's when they give you one of these bosses. And you can see whether or not you... Can't lock on him. Get the fucking thing off the screen. Oh, I'm fucking dead now, am I? The thing is, I don't enjoy these. Things. I know they're essential for these kind of games. Oh, I haven't got anything to fucking heal with. No, I'm literally going to die now. And then this is where you find out. what you lose upon dying oh what happened there that's weird so you enter the umbral is that have I what have I hang on let's just press with uh, I don't know what that means Eye of Sauron has seen me. Give me that lamp. How about no? Oh, what? 
Are you having a fucking laugh? How am I supposed to defeat this? Fucking not. Is this where you're supposed to die? Right, I'm not taking. I don't think it's taking any damage off me. So I think I've got to find. I've got to die and come back, perhaps. I thought I already had though. Ah, it is a cutscene where I'm supposed to die, and somebody else is going to come along and. Save me. Howl. Right. Okay. So let's go back to where I was. It's nice looking. I quite like the sounds. Did I miss this just now? Perhaps I did. A journal. A map of Mornstead. Vigor recovery after death. Ah! That's where you learn about picking up your stuff that you've lost when you die. Right, okay. So you are supposed to die then. Oh, what have I done? Okay, I don't know what happened there. Let's go and get this before I do anything else. Recover, Vigor. And do, do, do. now this red lamp is this where you can refight the boss that you just fought? Let me go and have a quick. Do I? Do I go back the way I came? I can't. Huh? How can I not? Where's the... Where did I just come down? Why am I covered in green smell? Oh, it's you. Right, okay. If I go back up here... Alright. Interact. Echoes of battle. Anything here? Anything here? No. So that wasn't a boss. I mean, we, we know it was kind of like a introductory to bosses. Um, but I don't... It's not telling me what this red lamp is on the floor. Can I hit it? Oh, I can. I can select it. Oh, hang on, is it something I can absorb? Ah, what? What was? What was that? What the hell? Oh, it's like a guide, is it? Telling me which way to go now? Yeah, this is the thing. Like sometimes in games, the guides can be overbearing and you have these flashing boxes that keep telling you the same thing over and over. And then sometimes you just find stuff out by complete accident and they weren't planning on telling you what it was. Unless I missed, missed that and, and didn't pick up on it. Okay. Now then. Every now and again, you do get that in games. You wander off the set path in order to get to a dead end where there's something you pick up off the floor, which is what I did. Umbral Parasites. 
Umbral parasites can symbiotically merge with other creatures, protecting them or granting them enhanced power. Select your umbral lamp with blah, 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 and siphon parasites with them to destroy them. Okay. Oh, fucking hell, all right. Right. So... Button mash for now. Plucked eyeball. Lamp bearer avenged. Right. Ah, there must have been somebody who died. Ah, is it this person here? Map of abandoned red cops. Sometimes moths indicate that your path in Axiom is blocked, but there's something in the Umbral Rem. Realm. Select your umbral lamp using down and rift by pressing L. Left trigger and X. Once in umbral, lock into an environmental element using RS and soul flate using Jesus Christ. Left trigger and right trigger to pave your way. Right, so there's obviously I've got to create a bridge by you then, right? So we'll do that. We'll hold that. Press X. I've got to do that, and then I've got to pull the stone towards me. Now, I'm assuming I've got to stand on the stone, select that, do that, and it pulls me towards it. There you go. Now, while I'm in the umbral, I've got to suck some balls. Um, and I've Oh, is this a person to talk to? Ah! I always wondered if there were others. You're probably thinking that lamp's just a tool to be used as you see fit. Take it lightly, and you'll find it's the other way around. Mark my words. I, I shall. Let's talk to you again to see if you say the same thing, or... I don't know who you are, and I don't care. Thanks. But since it seems a deer has you marked, making you a bigger threat to the Rogar serves us both. Okay. Anik. I've defied the wills of gods and kings. If you'd know any kind of freedom, you'll do the same. Right. Let's see if I can exhaust the dialogue. I've defied the wills of God. If you right. know any, I've yeah. def if you know, I've defied the wills of gods and kings. Okay, I leave you to it then. Thank you very much. Have a good day now. Oh, stigmas. Blah blah blah. Oh, right, this 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 got to be a point where I've got to just just sort of say, let's stop playing for now. Rift to Umbral first, then lock onto a stigma using right select, uh, blah, blah, soul flate to reveal a fragment of the past. Right, we'll do that. Huh? So we were able to... Oh, here we go. So is this like a farming method now? I could just keep... Right, so if I do that again... I thought I just did it. So it said left trigger and right trigger. Oh, left trigger, then right trigger. Is that right? 
Yeah, it's left then right. Something just shot at me then. Oh. Okay. Um, so the longer you stay in this place, the harder the enemies become. Is that right? Something similar? Oh, pick up fire ward. No, this is it. This is what happened. Oh, do I talk to this person? Oh no, I can I can kick them, can't I? Kick, boot, and give seventeen worth of health. Well done. Ah, fucking hell! I'm getting battered. All right, let's go and pick this up. Don't lock onto that thing. I fucking stop. Right. Stop automatically locking onto something that isn't an enemy. Thank you. See? It's not an enemy, unless I can it. Oh, hang on. Can I absorb? Right, so you can't put them out of your misery then. Now, isn't that where I came from earlier? Isn't that the battleground? Oh, for fuck's sake. All right, let's have a look. Oops. Oh. Maybe it's not, then. Eek. I have gone into a different area. Okay, let's run. Um... The noise, the atmospherics are really fucking good. That sort of... Oh, what the fuck? What's this red eye business? Interact. Thank you. Oh, fuck off. Oh. All right, okay, so... These are powerful enemies. Now, the eyeball has gone red. I'm assuming that means that... Uh... Ah, this didn't come up earlier, did it? So that was a scripted death event, as opposed to a you fucked up, boy, kind of event. Yeah. Okay, this is where we'll leave it. I'll go back and see if I can recover my stuff. Uh, it looks good. It sounds good. Uh, I'm not so sure about how the story plays out. There's a bit of a steepish learning curve with the amount of things that you collect, but that's okay, provided you find out along the way. 
Now that depends on each individual person, how much time you want to put into the game. Finding stuff out, reading the law, looking things up perhaps online and things like that. That's good. Um, I Even to this day, when playing things like Elden Ring and Dark Souls and what have you, I still don't know what half of these things are and I can't remember the names of these things. But I kind of know what I need to do and I get by and I get that enjoyment out of it. So I'm okay with that. The... Um, the game does look nice. It does sound nice. Um, it is a bit Dark Souls, Lord of the Rings, ish. Um, and apart from that, it's it's all right. It's oh. yeah. It's uh, it, it seems to be enjoyable. I I, I think I'm going to stick with it until I get to. A boss where I get bored now I got quite far into the is a game called lies of P I got quite far into it but I got to a particular boss and I thought I just thought you know what I'm so drained I've battled the boss a couple of times I thought I just don't care anymore now it was such a struggle to get there um, I, I just didn't care and I, I don't want that kind of level of fatigue um, in a game that I'm enjoying where you just hit a brick wall and you think, well, okay, do I have to go back? Do I have to respec? Do I have to put a lot more time into developing my character in a different way? Have I got to take a sort of alternate character route? Um, I don't want that. I kind of do want my almost arcade kind of elements, you know. Ghouls and ghosts, ghosts and goblins, arcade kind of thing where you don't have to respec a, respec a character. Um, in order to start enjoying the game again. I did that with Liza P. I got really bored with it. Um, I'm just sorry. I'm just taking in the, the ambience. It's quite nice. It's as if up there somewhere there's a guy with a big speaker and a... And a synth keyboard you know what I'm going to do just going to quickly see if I can get back to where I was to pick up my stuff now I worked out that was earlier hang on was this where I was earlier is this where I dropped down Ah, it was because I was in the umbrella, wasn't it? That could explain why I thought it was the same area then. So in order to be, for me to go and recover my stuff... Oh, there it is! Ah! So I, I can recover it. This is where I battled and lost. Ah! Right. Yeah, okay. This is where I battled and lost because I was in the umbral. And maybe I should have carried on. Or could have... Oh, could I Could I not carry on? Oh, do you know, I can't remember. And obviously I'm not going to stop this just to go back and then carry on. So... I'm liking what I'm seeing. I'm liking what I'm hearing. I'm liking what I'm playing. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to stick with this. But like I said... If it does get to the point where I'm like just bored, um, I'll just switch it off. I'm under no obligation to finish your game if your game becomes tedious, monotonous and boring. And with that, I'm going to leave this now with quite a nice visual. The video is going to end. And I'm going to say goodbye.